time for a second date update. And this is a segment that we started to do not too long ago. It's kind of picking up steam. Mm-hmm. And I almost was not so sure we should keep doing it. But then every once in a while, there's a real public service. And that's what our hope is here. And you have a great and different point of view now that you're in a relationship with a doctor, <laughs> I Tanya. I can't with you. So it says, Dear Ryan and Sissini, <laughs> we have gone out four times in over two weeks. She met my friends, and I really thought we were serious and exclusive. But since the night she met my friends, she has not responded to my text. Uh, she did seem weird when she left, but I didn't think much of it. I need to know what my friend said. Yeah, I mean, this sounds textbook to me. Friends said something that just kind of turned her off. Shane, thanks for coming on, bro. I appreciate you reaching out from Hermosa Beach. Uh, sure. How many friends were, like, give me a, set the scene. I want a visual of how many friends were around and how many were your guy friends, girlfriends. What was the look? Uh, I'd say there was maybe like, you know, three or four guys, uh, maybe like one girl in the mix there. Three or four guys and a girl, all your friends. Did she have any friends with her? Did yeah. she have any wing or was she wingless? No, she was, she just came along with me, you know. We we just kind of stopped by the bar and, you know, hooked up with a bunch of friends. Okay. And do you remember, were there conversations that happened with her and these other friends of which you could not hear? Yeah, I mean, I did leave briefly, uh, you know, to go to the bathroom or whatever I was doing, you know, at the bar. And whatnot. Um, so, I mean, it was a brief period, I, I'm sure. So, have any have any of those friends, guy friends of yours, ever given you a tip or made you think that they would actually try and block you? I have no reason to believe that. I I would hope not. Um, I asked them if anything happened. You know, they said they said they didn't say anything. So, I have no idea. Guys don't do that, do they? I yeah, mean, they do, they do but I, would, yeah, I wouldn't sure they do. expect it from, from that group of friends. No, here's I mean, what guys do. Here's what guys know, do. Though. And you, you never know. Here's what guys do. I'm going to just throw it all out there because okay. we've seen it happen. I've seen it happen right underneath whatever it is that's underneath with me. I'm, I'm, you know, like you're dating or not dating. You, you, you think you're vibing with someone and all of a sudden she goes to the bathroom and your brother's like, or your friend, right? Who is your brother, right? Because uh-huh. you call him all bro. Yeah, yeah. Your, your buddy's like, dude, I think I've got vibes. And you're like, really? Because I thought I did. He's like, I know, it's weird. Like, And he says, oh. like, I think I've got vibes from her to make you second guess your vibes. And therefore, boom. Those are, those are what your best friends do to you. Oh, All right. guys Shane, are so weird. Shane, yeah, yeah. No, you're not your best friends. So you get rid of them. But it can happen. <laughs> My point is, Shane, I'm just wondering, was anybody trying to sabotage it intentionally for any reason? I didn't notice anything. I mean, now I'm getting paranoid, but I, I, I swear I didn't notice anything like that. It was the furthest thing from my mind. Well, let's uh, suspend we paranoia and just call her on the air. Are you good with that? Yeah, I would love right. to. Hold on one sec. Let's just call her. Chris, isn't he out on maternity leave? Tanya is in. Patty is in. You have a look on your face of fear. I'm Tanya. nervous for this one because I feel like I already feel like I know what's going to happen. What do you What do you see? I think that th- that Shane maybe is, has been pretending to be a certain type of guy, and his friends kind of made him seem like he's not that kind of guy. He's not that guy. Like yeah. he was putting up fronters. Yeah. Right. So she, she was, was kind of like, "Well, that's not the guy I've been dating." Bye. And so then he's not being authentic, yeah. and she, yeah, okay, interesting. So why would his friends throw him under the bus like that? Not intentionally. Like they were probably like, "Yeah, like oh, I can't believe he showered. He never showers." Or like, do you Got know what I mean? Just like oh. dumb things like that. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Shane is on the phone. We're going to call Miranda. He'll listen in, and we'll try and find out. So, Shane, you'll be able to hear Miranda. Just don't say anything, okay? Okay, sure. Until we introduce that we're all together. So I'm going to call her now. Hello? Oh, hi. Is Miranda available, please? Hi, this is Miranda. Hi, Miranda. It's Ryan Seacrest and Tanya and Patty calling on the air. Your voice is on the air on KISS FM. How are you? Wait, are you kidding me? Wait, hold on a second. Hold on. I'm in work. Let me just step outside and hang on. Hang on. No problem. Okay. Okay. Um, What do you do for work, Miranda? Hold on. First of all, Ryan, I love you. 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 you. Thank you for listening. That's so nice. Um, What do you do for work? Um, I'm an administrator. Right on. Well, we won't keep yeah. you long. We're just checking okay. on something that came our way. Uh, Shane, you remember going out with a guy named Shane? 
Oh, I, I thought you were calling me because I won something, Ryan. Well, Later. you you may have. Who knows? You could have won your. Maybe it's your future. We don't know yet. Yeah. Um. Oh, did well, you remember yeah. going out with Shane? Yes, I remember going out with Shane. Yeah. How'd it go? Um. Well, we went out a couple times, so nice. I mean, it started off great, and then kind of. Let's just say I was like, "No, thank you, bye." <laughs> After really? What yeah. happened? Um, well, we, uh, like everything, like I said, started out great. We had great chemistry. He's super fun. Like he's a really nice guy. I'm attracted to him. But like the last time we went out, um, we did a little beach bar, um, afternoon or I should say evening. And he introduced me to some of his friends and basically one of his friends made some joke and asked me if I was, or, and I was. Like, what? Like, I didn't get it. I didn't understand, like, why that was a joke. She's talking about a uh, a ride-sharing app. That's what you, yes, we'll just keep that, a ride-sharing app. Right. So I just, like, didn't understand, like, what was funny about that, and I kind of Mm -hmm. figured it was maybe some sort of inside thing, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, maybe Shane's, like, a secret driver, and he lied to me about his job. You know, that's what I was thinking. But, turns mm -hmm. out, I asked his friend, like, what the whole thing meant, and apparently... He, like, hooked up with one of his drivers once, like, while he was getting a ride home. Oh, and so between friends now, that's a thing with them, and they make make a joke about that all the time when you meet someone. Yeah. And so apparently, yeah, it was this, like, 40-year-old lady, and apparently they hit it off on the, like, $6 ride, and he invited her into his place, and they totally hooked up. And Ryan, come on. Like, no, I hear uh, stories. I, uh, I hear stories about this, right? You hear crazy stories about this, but I didn't realize it happens that often, especially with, F, you know, it seems like a normal guy. You're hanging out in Hermosa Beach. You go to the beach bar and then that. And you believe that to be true? Well, a thousand percent. His friend totally said that happened. And yeah, now it's just like a constant thing. I'm going to tell you something that I know. About Shane. Okay. Shane is on the phone right now and listening to this. And so, Shane, is that true? Uh, it, it is true. Um, it, it was like a year ago. I mean, and my friends just have made fun of it ever since. As they um, should, Shane. As they should. I mean, being on why? a dating app is like, oh, I get why? it, but like... It's just it's just something that happened, and I mean I didn't think that that would cause you to stop talking to me and ignore me. Um, so can I throw something out there, Miranda? Is it so bad that Shane? I mean, you probably have gone out and done maybe, something crazy, yeah, right? I mean, is it right. that big of a deal, really? You know, I think it just in my mind, you guys. Now I'm just like thinking about it. Like that's kind of insecure, don't you think? I mean, are you that insecure that you have to worry really? because I Ooh, up on one? No, but okay, Miranda, I get it. When you're around this. when you're around a guy's friends and they're all making jokes about somebody that you've hooked up with, it's not fun and it probably did make you feel insecure in the moment and that's totally warranted and that's okay. But is okay. it a deal breaker? I, it's worse on the employee than it is like the passenger, I think. Like, who knows if it's happened more, and now he just doesn't tell his friends, because his friends are, like, making, but I don't know. It was just, All right. yeah, yeah, it is, like, yeah. like threw him under the bus to me. It was, like, so crappy on their part, you know? I'm going to take the leap here and suggest that you guys are not meant to be. It's yeah. not a match. Miranda's going to go back to doing her job, and Shane, you're going to go back to whatever it is you want to do. <laughs> That's fine. I think I need someone a little bit more open, open-minded. Yeah, well, you know. Hey, the tone shifted. I I heard it. Thank yeah. you guys both, and have a great day. No oh, problem. Thanks. thanks, Ryan. Miranda, thanks for listening. Okay, bye. Bye bye. I think what like stuff like that. What's past is past. Is it a deal breaker? I, it's interesting though. I don't know. She just decided. I think it was the how it was conveyed to her that made her uncomfortable. Totally.